Welcome to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. We are college students who create learning activities for kids. Our fun activities are focused on reading, writing, and math. Thank you for joining me to learn today. My name is Zoe, and in today's activity, we'll be learning about comparing and contrasting the same story told in two different forms, a book and a movie. There are many different ways in which a story can be told. They can be written in a narrative, book, poem, script, or even a TV show, play, or movie. Oftentimes, a book will have a movie adaptation of the same story. You might not know it, but some of your favorite movies might have been a book first, or vice versa. A narrative is a story that is written or spoken. A book is a way of recording information or a story by writing them down on pages of paper. A poem is a piece of writing and or storytelling that sometimes has rhythm and is often metaphorical. A script is the written text of a play, movie, or TV show. A TV show is any content that is broadcasted on TV and has episodes. A play is a theatrical production that tells a story. And a movie is a work of visual art that communicates a story, ideas, etc. using moving images. Today, you will be acting as a book critic and a movie critic. As a critic, your job will be to compare and contrast the similarities and differences of the same story told through a book and a movie adaptation. We will look at an excerpt from a book and look at some of the pictures from the movie in order to do this. When we are done doing this, I will point out some of the similarities and differences in the stories and you will even get to give both the book and the movie a rating out of five stars. Some things to consider while comparing and contrasting are the differences in description and imagery used in the book and how it is portrayed in the movie. Does the movie's lighting, angles, costumes, or actors make the story more appealing or less? Pay attention to description and imagery. Pay attention to how the details are portrayed in the screen caps of the movie I will show you. Are they portrayed accurately or differently? The story we are going to be looking at today is called Bridge to Terabithia. This is both a movie and a book. If you are not familiar with this story, it is when the life of Jesse, an adolescent, changes when he befriends Leslie, the class outsider. The children create an imaginary world called Terabithia, which is inhabited by all manner of magical creatures. We need a place, Leslie said, just for us. It would be so secret that we would never tell anyone in the whole world about it. Jess came swinging back and dragged his feet to stop. She lowered her voice almost to a whisper. It might be a whole secret country, she continued, and you and I would be the rulers of it. It could be a magic country like Narnia, and the only way you can get in is by swinging across this enchanted rope. Her eyes were bright. She grabbed the rope. Come on, she said. Let's find a place to build our castle stronghold. Now, let's look at some pictures frames from the movie of the same scene. Notice the way the scene is portrayed and what details are included or excluded in the movie that are from the book. Make note of this. Remember, you are being a critic for both the book and the movie. If you need to rewind the video to reread the excerpt from the book again, please do so. Notice the castle, the way that things are portrayed here. She's on the rope, as you can see, and this is just a gift from the movie. Now, we will look at some of the similarities and differences between the book and description of the movie. Did you find that the movie version shows Leslie swinging back and forth on the rope? Her eyes are bright and she's smiling. The movie also portrays the magic country from Terabithia, and if you look closely, you can see the castle too. Though, did you notice that it, the book doesn't quite describe in detail how magical Terabithia is? or what it looks like, the movie provides us with a somewhat better idea of what the magical country is like. Great job, critics! Now, you will have a chance to rate the book version and movie version of Bridge to Terabithia. What do you give it out of five stars? You can write this down on a piece of paper if needed. Now, here are some reminders. Whenever you're watching a movie or TV show, you might want to consider that there might be a book or poem based on it. Pay attention to how different techniques, such as lighting, angles, descriptiveness, etc., help to make the story more understandable, emotional, or exciting. That's all for today. Thank you for learning with me today. I hope you come back and learn some more. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel, and we will be back with more videos.